Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Minibot X5 Robot Vacuum. You'll receive the Robot Vacuum, Charging Base, AC Adapter, Remote Control, two double-sided sticky tapes, three rubber bumpers, two AAA batteries for the remote, two replacement sweeper brushes, a replacement filter sponge, a cleaning brush, and a manual. The X5 Vacuum measures 12.5 inches in diameter and 3.5 inches tall so it's a little bigger than other robot vacuums that I've tried before. However, it's still compact enough to go under most furniture like beds and couches. It has a single power auto clean button on top and the face is made of tempered glass to resist scuffs and scratches. There's an LCD panel in the middle that displays battery life, error messages, and cleaning schedule. The rest of the controls for the unit are on the remote control. The remote requires two AAA batteries which were provided. On the front of the unit is a physical bumper sensor, and on the bottom are three cliff sensors so that the unit will not wander over a drop-off like stairs. The two sweepers are not marked left and right, and appear to be identical, which makes replacing them easier. On the back of the unit is the dustbin, and you push down on this yellow tab here to release and remove it. Inside the dustbin are a pre-installed dust filter and sponge which can be cleaned and washed, but they must be completely dry before reusing. To replace the bin, simply slide it back until it clicks. The unit can optionally use a water bin for wet mopping, but this must be purchased separately. Note that the motor for the vacuum is inside the dustbin, so it cannot be submerged in water or wet cleaned. On the right side of the unit is the power port for direct charging and the power switch to turn the unit on. There's also a mini USB port here, and I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe it's another way to charge the unit. Let's set up the charging base though and check out how well it cleans. The adapter plugs into the left side of the charging base. You'll want to set the charging station somewhere with 3 feet of clearance on either side and 6 feet in front of the station. Then set the robot vacuum on top or near the base station and flip the switch on the side. Once on, click the dock button on the remote to make the robot find the charging station and begin charging. Optionally, you can plug the adapter directly into the vacuum for charging. When the unit is done charging, the battery indicator will have 3 bars. The robot will also return to the charging base automatically when it's low on battery on auto clean cycles. You can set the time and cleaning schedule using the remote control, but note that the unit must be undocked to change these settings. Pressing the clock button on the remote changes the time, and pressing plan lets you choose the time the robot will start cleaning. The times are only shown in 24 hour format and there is no option for skipping certain days. For spot cleaning, place the robot near a particularly dirty area and press the spot button. It'll run in widening concentric circles for a few minutes, then stop. To activate auto clean mode, press the auto button. There's also an edge cleaning mode that follows the perimeter of a room that works reasonably well, and a full go mode that has the unit automatically start its cleaning cycle after it completes charging on the dock. The X5 cleans in a slightly different pattern than other robot vacuums that I've used in the past. It uses a zigzag grid pattern, and if given a rectangular room with no obstructions, it would clean it in back and forth parallel lines. It also handles obstacles quite well and maneuvers around chair legs, furniture, a curious pet, or unsuspecting person with ease. It tends to make very tight turns, and it can get right up to the edge of whatever it's moving around. If you stress out about the robot missing a speck of dirt you see, you can use the remote to manually change its direction. One thing I found odd is that if the unit encounters the base while cleaning, it simply pushes it around rather than avoiding it, like most other robot vacuums do. This vacuum doesn't work on carpet or over rugs with fringe. It gets stuck. I tried. And it's only suitable for hardwood, cement, or tile flooring. If you have short transitions between rooms, it can typically cross them, but if the transition is taller than a quarter inch, it'll likely change direction or get stuck on it. For vacuuming, the unit performed within my expectations. It picked up a ton of dust, hair, and debris. It runs for about two hours before returning to its charging base. Since the dustbin is essentially an open entry in the middle of the unit, if you need to pick the robot up, grab the side opposite the dustbin to pick it up. Otherwise, you'll find the contents of the dustbin dumped all over your floor or yourself. Overall, the unit cleans pretty well. It does a nice job on hardwood and tile floors with few obstacles. It does help to clear or arrange furniture so it can have access under tables and other furniture. When run daily, our floors tend to stay cleaner, and we can spend less time vacuuming and more time enjoying our floors. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.